So the 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 core basic is it's it's a fast action combat game uh, where real players fight real players. I mean that is the simple explanation. On top of that, we have a great customization system that really lets you make what you want to make. If you want to be yourself in the world, you can be. You can be your favorite actor. You can be whatever you want to be with the power of the tools. Uh, and those two things combine to be this really compelling game. You have really great action, and you get to be the personality you want to be. So missions are basically given by uh, contacts in the world. And contacts are personal, NPC personalities that work for the major organizations. And you, what they're doing is they're asking you to do work for their organization. Uh, and it basically looks at you and looks at the group size you currently have or the composition you have and picks a mission based off what that contact likes to do. So in APB, uh, you're basically building relationships with the contacts and the organizations the contacts work for. Uh, as you complete missions, as you do open world activities, your, that, that unique relationship with that individual contact and that organization as a whole advances. And as it advances to each level, you unlock more rewards. Um, and what we hope and what we believe is how the game is structured is that instead of you doing the missions and the combat to just get that reward, what's really fun about our game is doing the combat itself. So the reward is actually what it should be, a reward, not a goal. It's not the only goal. The goal is to have fun. And then as you're having fun doing things naturally in the game, you're getting rewarded for it. So it's a little different kind of uh, mechanic than you would see in, say, an MMORPG where you take a quest because you want the reward. You don't really care about the combat in between. That's just that's filler. It's really you want the shiny blue item at the end. For us, it's not about the shiny blue item. It's about how much fun the combat is against other players. So we actually have a marketplace that you can trade items on. So I can create something and then I can um, put that on the marketplace. I can make a copy of it and put it on the marketplace so I can save my original. All the, thing, all the editors that have a product that you can create out of them, you can sell on the marketplace. And you can also mail it to your friends through our mail system. I think what we're missing right now is just getting those final tweaks and polishes to each individual element. And I think the kind of the, the key points we have left are making our, teaching people about the game, the introductory experience, the tutorial, keep refining that because the game is pretty deep and it has lots of complexity at, at, at various elements. So that's the next big thing we have to overcome before release. And on top of that, it's making sure that those, those core elements, the combat, the driving, are as good and as polished as we can make them. So originally, uh, this product was going to be a Korean and a Western release at the same time. Our original publisher was WebZen. Uh, and as part of that agreement, we had two concept artists. Uh, and they really did the first initial concept, the character concepts. Uh, I think that was the initial inspiration for what, what ended up being our kind of urban fashion. But it's not a specific fashion. It's not hip hop. It's not street. It's not gangster. It's a mix of all those because uh, the concepts were like that. And I think we've just gr grown out of that. We really believe in contemporary, but fashionable in many different ways, not just one specific fashion. It's not just gangsta. It's not just uh, military outfits. It's not just heavy metal. It's not just skate punk. There's also goth influences. There's party influences. There's business influences. So I, I believe it's really kind of grown out of those initial concepts that kind of touched on all those things. So we, uh, about a year ago, we made a conscious decision to really focus on the company being a piece, an online PC uh, publisher and developer. Um, and so APB uh, is definitely a PC game to start with. Uh, I do believe we'll see a console version. I don't know when. Uh, I know we're talking to people. Uh, but who we're talking to and when, when you could expect to see something, I, I have no details that I would be comfortable giving at this point. But I do believe that if you do see a console version of APB, it won't be the exact PC game. It'll be a version of APB built for consoles. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.